Hey, have you heard about the war between Palestine and Israel? Yeah, I have heard a bit about it. It's been going on for a long time, right? Yeah, for decades. It's all about land and who gets to live where. That sounds complicated. Why don't they just figure it out and stop fighting? It's not that easy. Both sides feel like they have a right to the land. And there's a lot of history and emotions involved. But people are getting hurt, right? That's not good. Yeah, it's really sad. Innocent people, including kids, are affected by the fighting and violence. I wish there was a way for them to make peace and live together peacefully. Me too. Hopefully, one day they can find a solution that works for everyone. But it's a tough situation. Both sides have their reasons, but it seems like they're stuck in a cycle of conflict. Do you think there will ever be peace in that region? I hope so. It's going to take a lot of effort and compromise from both sides, as well as support from the international community. What can we do to help? Well, raising awareness about the issue and supporting initiatives for peace and dialogue can make a difference. Also, urging our leaders to prioritize resolving the conflict diplomatically could help too. That makes sense. It's important for everyone to work towards peace, even if it seems difficult. Absolutely. Every small step towards understanding and cooperation counts towards building a better future for both Palestinians and Israelis. Let's hope for the best and do what we can to support peace efforts in any way we can. Definitely. It's heartbreaking to see so much suffering and division. I wish there was a way to bring people together to find common ground. Yeah, it's hard to imagine living in constant fear and uncertainty like that. I wonder what it's like for families on both sides of the conflict. I can't even imagine. Families just want to live in peace and provide for their loved ones, but the conflict makes that so difficult. Do you think there's any hope for a lasting solution? I believe there is always hope, even in the darkest of times. It might take a long time and require difficult compromises, but eventually, I hope they can find a way to coexist peacefully. Let's hope so. In the meantime, we can continue to educate ourselves and others about the situation and advocate for the peaceful solution. Absolutely. Every voice raised in support of peace matters. Maybe if enough people come together, we can help make a difference. It's also important for leaders on both sides to show courts and willingness to engage in meaningful dialogue. Do you think there are any positive steps being taken towards peace? There have been some efforts like peace talks and agreements in the past, but progress has been slow and often derailed by violence or political obstacles. However, small gestures of goodwill, like humanitarian aid and cultural exchanges, can build trust and pave the way for more substantial progress. That makes sense. It's a complex issue with deep-rooted historical and cultural factors. But even small steps can lead to a significant changes over time. Exactly. It's about planting the seeds of peace and nurturing them over time. With patience, understanding, and persistence, I believe a peaceful resolution is possible. I share your optimism. Let's continue to hope and work towards our future 
where both Palestinians and Israelis can live side by side in peace and prosperity. It's also crucial for the international community to play a constructive role in facilitating peace, negotiations, and providing support for initiatives aimed at reconciliation. Absolutely. The involvement of neutral mediators and organizations can help bridge the gaps between the two sides and provide much-needed assistance in addressing key issues such as security, borders, and the rights of refugees. Do you think there's enough pressure on world leaders to prioritize resolving the conflict? It's a mixed bag. While some countries and organizations actively advocate for peace and support diplomatic efforts, others may have their own interests or agendas that complicate the situation. Continued engagement and pressure from concerned citizens and global leaders are essential to keep the momentum for peace going.